Hi, I'm Patrick von Schlag, and I'm going to take you through looking at how we might use the JIRA software tool to help us organize and manage a project. To begin, you want to be able to create a project for the work that you're going to be doing. If you go under the projects menu in JIRA, you may have any number of other projects that you're working on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new one. When they ask you, when you ask to create a new project, you have a number of options in how you might track and manage the project. Notice that there are a number of templates available. So this is not limited to just software development style templates, but there are templates available for all different kinds of projects that someone might run. Uh, within a typical software development team, there are three broad sets of projects you might use. You might use Kanban style projects to track and manage the continuous flow of work so that if you don't have fixed iterations or sprints, you might use a Kanban approach to just try to manage the ongoing work as it flows through. There is the, what's called a Scrum project, which we might use if we're running a Scrum team and doing our work in two to four week increments, let's say. And then there is also a bug tracker that you can use if you're just looking for a place to track your various types of development tasks and bugs. In this case, let's go ahead and select a Scrum project. When you do, it brings you into the option to use a particular template that's going to enable you to pre-populate your project with a number of key features and functions that you'll want to use. So we're going to go ahead and say that we want to use a template. And now you'll see that there are two main kinds of templates we can use, a team managed one and a company managed one. A team managed project is effective if you're trying to do simple work within and among your teams. It allows anyone on the team to set up and maintain it. It has very simple configurations for different kinds of workflows, uh, provides easy setup for kind of standard issues and so forth. It does not provide a tremendous amount of controls around things like permissions, for example. All right, if you use a company-based project, it gives you more sophistication in how you might customize your workflows, how you might establish and do customizations around your different types of issues to be able to ensure that your project uses a standardized configuration across a number of different team members and ultimately that requires some administrative support from people with JIRA administrative privileges. In this particular case, we're going to go ahead and select a company managed project. At this point, you can see that we are doing a Scrum related project, we are doing a company managed project, and now it's time for us to name it. And so we're going to call this particular project hike planning because we're working our way through planning our hike to, as part of our venture here. And you can see that it fills in a key that will be used for the various records and issues that we create within our particular JIRA project, right? So we also have the opportunity here to connect to some other repositories like a Confluence page. We'll look at that as a subsequent video. So we'll go ahead now and say to create our project and it goes and it actually populates the project in and provides us with our project board. And so now we are ready to go ahead and populate information in our hike plan uh, to be able to set up and manage our project activities.